Hi, YouTubers. Charlie Tango. I'm coming at you here again with yet another short video. Now, this one. Uh, oh, four star. Yeah, before I start, bear with me. Let's just roll that back a bit. Before I start, uh, remember the music, Out of Town? Jack Argreaves was the one that introduced the program. Well, I used a couple of the, uh, I've used chapter one and chapter two, and I've used that as an intro music and as an outro music. I, I was informed today by a friend. Uh, Someone's jumped in on the bandwagon on that one. You know, obviously they haven't been watching my videos, or suddenly they have, because um, I haven't subscribed to them. So, thank you, Funky Prepper. <laughs> there you go. That's the Englishman for you. Right, getting back to it now. This, this here, is the last dummy gun dog training dummy waistcoat and this one I've done some improvements on it by the time but this is the fourth one by the time we've got round to it these pockets this pocket now is lower before you had to lift up here to get in it it's now lower the gusset is the same oh I just added a little bit of a uh, little dog trigger clip on there don't know you might want to put your keys on there but there is a little pocket in here Velcro to put your keys in if you want or some or valuables. I think you might be able to get your phone in there as well. <coughs> now <coughs> the buckle. Uh, let's bring it down a bit more. Yeah, this buckle. What I've done is um, <coughs> I put a keeper in here. Excuse me, Charlie. Quiet. Stop that. My dog, because I'm talking. <laughs> And what I've done is to, get, to, to use the access, get rid of the access of your strap in case you're a bit bigger than it'll be out here. I've just put a um, crew stamp in there and you can just slide it straight inside the pocket. So there you go, that's, I think you can get, get that thing there. See, a little crew hole there and it slides inside the pocket so it's out of the way instead of flapping around here so <coughs> there you go I've um, by the time I've got to this one all the little teething problems I've managed to sort out so there you go let's uh, put it up here so you can see the back pocket I like it actually. So, as I say, um, it's not sold. I made a mistake. I was ordered for three, and I was um, I made the uh, I was making for four. So <coughs> I was batching them as I go, and of course got the four. I thought, well, where's the fourth one? There isn't one. So there you go. But um, I managed to uh, <coughs> get this right. Uh, I would prefer to sell it to someone in England because I've just found out um, although I asked sell them, sell them for 165 plus the uh, postage now I went and posted all the other stuff uh, down the um, post office Let's, you want to see my movie don't you yeah I posted all the other stuff down the post office and um, to my amazement to ship these one of these out to the United States because it comes just a little bit over the weight it cost me 40 pounds for each one that's a lot of money in it to send to the States but I don't think I'm out of pocket over it so I would prefer to sell it if someone's interested um, my mate Chris Upton is, is as a friend of his uh, thought he might have had it but um, he said no not at present so I'd like, I rather would like to sell it to some UK chap because the postage is, is going to be a lot cheaper, something like about eight, eight, ten pounds, something like that. So there you go. Uh, without further ado, 
watch out for the next video or well, chapter three I've got to sort out now I'll caught up with all my work so chapter three will be on its way out soon catch you all later cheerio